Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to The Last Door Season 2. We're still on Aelis Moor. Um, we've just realised that Kieran is missing, and I think what we probably want to do now is go back to the hills to perhaps speak with the two people that were sort of guarding nothing. If you know what I mean, Mole Man and the Viking Helmet guy, because I think they might be Kieran's friends. Um, before that, though, let's go back through the school, because I think... There was, a, there was a gate or something I opened on this side, and I didn't actually investigate where that went, so let's just head back and see where it goes. Yes, past the uh, creepy mask people, that's right. Yeah, through here. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, here we go, here we go. So, what have we got here? It's an empty doghouse. Nothing has slept here in many years. Okay, is that it? That's it. Okay, I can't reach my hand in, feel around for a key or something, I don't know. Um, we have a, I think, a, a rowboat here. Is that water? Yep. <laughs> Not really the point, but yet an old rowboat filled with stale water. And there's... <laughs> I don't think we're meant to see this. This apparently doesn't happen on, on the normal versions of the game. It's just the collector's edition. It's very, very strange. But yeah, I guess that thing that's poking out the water is an umbrella, and I'm inspecting it right now. Does that mean I can take it? Apparently it means I can take it. That's absolutely fantastic. It doesn't look like it'll rain anytime soon, but there might be a purpose for it. Okay. Okay. Anything else in there? Can we... Oh, we can't actually examine this again, it seems. Okay. Uh, another building in ruin, it seems. Yeah, no matter the strength of structure, all things succumb to time. Yeah. Alright. Uh, can we go to the right at all? It doesn't appear that we can, actually, so... There is a door over here. And it opens, okay. Oh, and this leads us back out to the entrance to the graveyard. Okay, okay. Well, that's pretty convenient, actually. Um, because I think, is it the map screen that's over here? I believe so. Yeah, let, this is it. Been a while since I played, you see. So, yeah, let's head back to the hills. Back to that big hole in the ground. Now, are those two still here? Ah, there you go, there's one. But he doesn't talk, it's the Viking, or whatever the hell that's meant to be, a moose probably that talks. Uh, excuse me? See what I mean? Right. Hello. Here we go. Did you know Kieran? Were you Kieran's friend? He was nice, but he didn't want to play much. He was mostly for going in the hills by himself. Really? Okay. Was Kieran not afraid? No. He said he'd seen them, and that they were not as scary as Aunt says. I think that's why they took him. You think the Marsh Dwellers took him? Yes, for sure. Before he disappeared, he said he found a treasure. A disc with a beautiful drawing. He took it from the old house in the hills. Maybe the Marsh Dwellers wanted it. Right, there's a house in the hills. We're at the hills now. I don't remember seeing a house. Okay. I still think he fell down the hole, honestly. Um, that's all we can talk about, apparently. I must go now. Goodbye. Farewell. Hold on, though. What about if I show you the drawing? Ah, I found this drawing at the school. Is it yours? That? No. Kieran painted it a long time ago. The drawing's Kieran's? There could be a clue here of his whereabouts. Oh, okay, we're giving it a thorough examination, it seems. Um, let's have a look at the tree and this, the village, yeah. Yes, that's the Fearnog tree in the graveyard. That tree gives me the chills these nights. On reunion, they got them little lanterns on it. They look like evil eyes staring into you. Okay, um, can we talk about the, the dragon type thing? What's this? That's the crooked one. They say a villager defied it and the next day her house was burned to the ground. They say it was the crooked one, paying her back. That's the house where Kieran found the treasure. Do you know how to get there? Sure, it's easy. Is this another map marker? Yes, it is. On the other side of the island, that's a solitary house. That's, uh... That's probably where we'll be going next, actually. Okay, brilliant. And we have no more use for the drawing. That's great. Um, still not exactly sure what I need to fix, honestly. Cog and screw-wise. Tell you what, let's go back up here. Let's examine the hole again. Now that I know about Kieran, or I know a little bit more about Kieran, maybe I can really th sort of thoroughly examine the hole. See if he is down there. I think that's exactly what it said last time. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was. And there's still this sort of, like, weird plaque or something to some weird deity, right? A sun god? Some unknown deity. Okay. Um, Kieran, if you're down there, would you like an umbrella? No? Okay. Would you need an umbrella? No. Ah, shit. 
Maybe it will start raining at some point. I don't know. I'm not really sure what the umbrella's for. That really does sound like a groan of some ancient beast down there. It really does. Let's head back down. Um, okay. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. There's a barrel of something through here, isn't there? Although I'm looking for something sharp. I'm fairly sure the umbrella's not sharp enough. But yeah, I'll keep that in mind. I will keep that in mind. But let's head back to the map screen. Let's go to the east side of the island. And let's have a look at this solitary house, shall we? Okay. What's this? Looks like a man. It's a wicker statue sporting a pair of animal horns. The twigs look fresh. A couple people in the comments actually said this sort of did remind uh, people of the Wicker Man. Yeah, the 70s film, not the Nicolas Cage bees remake. I'm, uh, I'm hoping. Looks like this Wicker Man has a very real penis, actually. <laughs> just those two pixels just seem a little bit out of place for me. But, um, okay. Right, yeah, there's not much of a house left, is there? This must be the house that the child was telling me about. Kieran was here just before his disappearance. Yeah, okay. It seems we can go in. Let's explore the outside, though, if possible. Uh, what do we got here? A mailbox. Oh, okay, I can see that. It's either that or a big, big hammer. There's mail inside it? The envelope is very old. It is stamped, returned, and there's a letter inside. Okay, let's have a look. My dear cousin, I'm doing poorly. I would ask that you not call upon me here at Alice Moor. Not now, nor ever again. Please keep Grandmother's ring. I believe that she would have wanted you to have it. Yours faithfully, Brigid. Okay. There's something else in the envelope. What? Is it the ring? I think so. It's an iron ring. Wow. How has nobody found this? That's quite valuable, I would think. Uh, okay. And, and that's it. There's nothing else in there. There's nothing else in there. Okay. So we have a ring. All these items, I'm really not sure what to do with them. Can I wear it? <laughs> nope. Okay. And we can't go any more to the right. Nothing else down here? What's this? Is that just part of the house? Yeah, I think so. We're just getting a grand view of it, aren't we? Okay, let's head inside. Okay. Um, watch out for falling pieces of timber on your bonds. Oh, hello. What do we got here? Is that a, it's a trap door or something, right? A metal trap door. It seems to lead to some sort of basement. And it's open. I was half expecting it to be locked. But, um, you know, I've got a fetish for this. Let's descend into another dark hole. Okay. Very nice. I think this basement might have once housed a library. It looks like it was not burned as badly as the rest of the house. Even so, little here remains intact. But it's certainly faring better. Okay. Where do we start? Where do we start? What? Uh, let's go left. Let's go left. Let's see. Um, there's some green stuff on the table. Remains of books, apparently. Most of the pages are ashy or blackened, so the text is illegible. Never mind. I thought that might have been a note or something, actually. What's this? A common carpenter's brace. A tool like this would be used for drilling holes in wood. Oh, please tell me I can take it. I can take it. It could be useful later. That... That little brace might be able to, uh, to get me into that barrel. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, so there's not anything else here. I'm assuming I'm just examining the books again here. Yep, that's right. That is actually broken at the bottom there, you see. Overturned table. Yep, it's been upended. What's that on the floor? A big glob of snot. I don't know. What's this? A chest. It's inside, untouched by the fire. It was probably opened long after the inferno died down. There's a diary inside. Hey, okay. Brigid Laid Send. Okay, several pages toward the end are missing. But we can read it. Okay, so 7th of August, 1801. Words cannot express the gratitude that I feel for Aunt Mare's bequest. May her dear soul rest in peace. This house is just what I needed to still my nerves after the exhausting pace of life in Dublin. Okay. I would not have thought to find such a remarkable library hidden away in the basement. It includes several magnificent tomes on the most picturesque cust uh, customs of our land. Okay, 23rd of September now. I found Aunt Mare's diaries next to an odd iron disc, but the contents of the diaries were appalling. What could have happened that dear old Mare would write such things? Is this the disc that Kieran took, by any chance? That damnable place that she speaks of. I must know if it really exists. I am resolved to investigate our family's crypt. 
It would be prudent to wait until dusk before travelling to the Northern Cape, so as not to be seen. Okay, said the 25th of September. The abbey was in such a state of decay that it was nearly impossible to find the mural painting in the dark. Fortunately, a dim light happened to shine through a gap in the wall, illuminating the face of the sentinel. I believe Aunt Mayor's iron disc is needed to open the secret passage. Okay. Is this the legacy of the late send? I can stand to bear it no longer. Fire will put an end to this blasphemy and cleanse the land of our family's curse. And should the fire prove insufficient, may this testimony serve as warning. So she was so disgusted by what she found in the crypt that she burnt this place? Uh, yeah, if I can find out what it was, I may learn more about the, the, the crone, madame. My intuition tells me that I must act tonight or else it'll be too late. Okay, yep. Another one? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, okay, so we're heading right up north. That's an old abbey? Okay. Okay. We've got a lot of places to visit. Okay, so I'm assuming that was that was all that was in the chest. Oh, we can just read it again. Okay. Skip through that. Yep, 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 yep. And done. Okay. What about the bed here? Was Kieran sleeping in this terrible, lonely place? Possibly. Possibly. Collapsed during the fire. Yep. It's uh, it's not looking too good for anyone who sleeps there, honestly. So is that it? Okay. We found a ring here. We found a brace. I kind of want to go back to the hills before we go to the old abbey, to be honest. Just to, just to try uh, the brace on that barrel. Let's, let's do that. Okay. There is nothing else here, right? It was just the entrance to the basement. Yep, seems so. The ring? What's the ring for? Maybe somebody, somebody wants the ring. Some old relative I might meet. I don't know. Uh, oh, this way. <laughs> oh. The wicker statue is burning. Who did this? I don't know, but it's kind of creepy. Well, you know, looking at the positive side, at least I'm not inside it. Is there anything over here that's changed? No. Oh, that's kind of cool. The howling wind isn't helping either. Okay, let's let's uh, let's go this way back to the map screen. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna visit the old abbey, but let's go. I kind of want to visit the manor again as well, you know. But let's go to the hills. I want to visit the manor because we went like straight into one room, and I would think that we could explore more than that if we wanted to. Let's just see those. Oh shit, those guys are gone. What the hell? Oh, this is what he was sort of penciling in with the stick, right? So yeah, it's a drawing of some sort of spiked circle. Is it the sun or something else? It's the same symbol as the one that's on that stone up on the hill. For this unknown deity. There's his helmet. He's left his helmet behind and something else. The child that I spoke with earlier seems to have left his mask here. Okay. I can take the helmet, I think. Or the ribbon. Or okay, maybe not the ribbon. <laughs> oh, no. No. It was the ribbon. Hold on, where did it go? Something's telling me I'm going to need it. Did it go that way? Or, uh, well, I, I hope so. Uh, yes, yes. Right where I need to be as well, because I want to have a look at that barrel. Yep, that's the one. Quickly now. <laughs> that wind looks fierce. Oh, come on! If it goes to the left somewhere. Right, while we're here... Yes! I may be able to drill a hole in the barrel using this brace. Okay, brilliant. And you've done it. Okay. The barrel is filled with oil. Take some? I'd need some sort of container to pour the contents of the barrel into. Ah, okay, fair enough. So, I guess we don't have that right now. We've got a screw, a cog, an umbrella. If we hold the umbrella upside down? No, that wouldn't work. Uh, and a, a ring certainly wouldn't work. No. So, where's this ribbon? Oh, we can go left now. Hey! This island's full of surprises. Hey, there's the lighthouse there. I can see a lighthouse in the distance. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there's another place to go. Is that it? Oh, my God. We're going everywhere. All right. So, the ribbon. It was snatched by the wind. Now, please, come on. Third time lucky. You can grab this, right? Good. Okay. I have no idea what I need it for, but, um, yeah. 
Maybe I can give it back to the child. Right, so we can we can head to an old abbey, we can head to a lighthouse, it seems. Um, okay. Where do I want to go next, though? Should I go to the lighthouse? I guess I could. I guess I could. So there's like, was it six locations we can go to now on the map screen? That's pretty good. I wonder if we're going to explore that sort of separate little island up in the top left. That seems kind of mysterious for some reason. Yeah, this one over here. Or maybe that little one. Um, so yeah, two new ones at the top. Don and Manor. You know, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to go back to Don and Manor. I just want to confirm that we can go somewhere else. Right, okay, here we go, here we go. This is new. Um, okay, so we've got a few statues in this garden, apparently. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this one. This statue appears to be very old. Its appearance suggests that it could date back to ancient Rome. Uh-huh, okay. This one over here. Oh, that's Athena, goddess of wisdom, war, and the arts. She's dressed in armor, seeming ready for war. Well, yeah, that's good. If she's the god of war, and she wasn't ready for war, wouldn't be very good, would it? Um... Okay, that's interesting. We can go that way. Uh, can we go in? Because I think... Oh, okay. The door's locked. The manor appears to be dark and empty. Uh, Lord Donnan's not around right now, apparently. He can't uh, entertain us anymore. Let's go this way, though. Hey, what the hell's this? Kieran's swing, I guess? The noise of the swing gently being moved by the wind is the only thing breaking the silence. What's this? Looks like a bike. Is it a bike? Yeah, it's a safety bicycle. What, what? What do you mean a safety bicycle? Small wheel. Oh, what, the training wheels on the side? Okay. It looks quite new, but its chain is broken. Ah. Uh, and apparently if something's broken, I can take it. Um, oh, I might be able to fix it. Yeah, maybe. Have I got anything that can fix it? Uh, the ring? Hey, there you go. It's like an extra link. Yes, I'm sorry to use Brig <laughs> I'm sorry to use Brigger's grandmother's ring in such a manner. Still, maybe now I can get the bicycle to work. Okay, so we put the chain back on the bicycle. Yeah. The tires are too threadbare. I don't see how I can ride it safely, but at least the chain rotates. Uh, oh God. The hell was that? What was that sound? Sounded like it came from the left. We've got like a little, uh, little house here? Is this for like the groundskeeper or something? Uh, no, it's Kieran's playroom. The door is locked, and I think the crescent moon and that star or whatever it is next to playroom, I think they're the, they're the two symbols that we saw on the desk. Huh, alright. So the playroom's got a little sort of a water wheel on it? Apparently, it seems. The mill wheel. Something is preventing it from spinning, apparently. Okay, is there something stuck down there? Yeah, it does seem to be jammed in some way, doesn't it? Um, can I hook it out with the umbrella? Something like that? I do not see how that would help, no. Uh, we don't think alike, apparently. What's all this stuff? Can we have a look at this? What is that mark on the... Oh, it's a strange mechanism running from the mill's wheel shaft into the building. It seems to be lacking a small piece. Aha! We may have finally found what this cog is for. Or not. It's way too big to fit between the gears. Looks like I need something smaller and thinner. What about the screw? The screw works! Okay. And the and the wheel is turning again. Okay, fantastic. Did that serve any purpose story-wise, or am I just being a sort of good Samaritan and fixing the wheel? I don't know. Maybe the wheel's turning and the door has unlocked. That's what I'm hoping. No. That's really, really weird. I think maybe maybe Kieran's in there? I definitely heard a sound coming from there. That's what it, that's what it felt like anyway. Okay, well, we're, uh, we're sort of cutting down the items a bit. So I fixed the chain with a ring, and I fixed the mill wheel with a screw. Okay, well, let's go back. Let's head to the lighthouse or the old abbey, I suppose. What the fuck is going on? That's what I heard! It wasn't in Kieran's playroom! The Roman statue has been thrown down and replaced with a wicker one. 
are these wicker statues real people? <laughs> What's going on here? To destroy such an ancient statue. Could this really be part of the festival? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. And that happened, like, instantly as well. Didn't hear a group of people sort of making that up right there and there. That must have been really heavy. What the fuck is going on? Hold on, let me just see if... Let me just see if this door's unlocked. No, okay. The manor appears to be dark and empty. Odd. Very, very odd. Okay, at least this one isn't, like, burning down or anything. But I think I kind of want it to burn down, actually. Let's go, let's go. Let's head over to the Old Abbey to start with. Because that's the first new location I found. Don't tell me that's another one. The wicker statue stands like a silent guard. Its presence makes me uncomfortable, as though I have trespassed on forbidden grounds. Is this something to do... Is this like another rite of the reunion thing? I haven't seen people putting these together. There was no mention of it. It's just very, very creepy. Okay, we can go in. Although, I think we could have probably gone around judging on the state of these ruins. See the lighthouse in the in the background there. Yeah, could the Chrome Medan be here? Brigid mentioned a dim light, but I... Oh, I see only darkness. Maybe, um, maybe the lighthouse should be shining a light down here. Maybe that's the dim light. Okay, just looking around the rubble here, there could be any number of things hidden amongst this. Uh, what was that? What was this? Okay, the dome appears to be Roman in origin. It is in better condition than the other ruins. Okay. Well, yeah. Slightly better condition. It still looks like it's going to fall to pieces any time now. Um, okay. I'm not seeing anything to do, to be honest. Here, there's nowhere to go. There is nothing to do. I really do feel like we have to get the light on. Let's go, let's go to the lighthouse, and let's return to the old abbey later on, yeah? Let's try that. I'm really expecting this guy to move. Shh. <laughs> okay, to the lighthouse, to the lighthouse, here we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is this another wicker man? What a ghastly custom. This wicker man is in the shape of a hangman. What is with this? I've seen like, what, I've seen four of them now? One of them's burning down. What on earth? Okay, um, let's, let's go in, right? Or let's not. No one's answering. Okay. But it's not that the door's locked or anything, right? Can you just try again? Can you just break in? I really do feel like I need to go in. No, no one's answering. Okay. I can examine the tree, it seems. This tree looks like it's been dead for a long time. Yeah, just like this wicker man. Um, we can go this way. Up the stairs. Is this the way to the top? I thought the steps would be on the inside myself. Seems a bit dangerous than being on the outside. Oh, hang on, hang on. There, something's moving in there. There's a dim light inside. Hey, okay. Yes, yeah, someone's inside. I could make some kind of noise to attract their attention. Okay, what have I got? I have an umbrella. I've got a cog. I've got a ribbon. I'm looking for like an air horn or a vivazella, maybe. I don't know. What was that? A wide copper pipe runs from the tower to the ground. It is covered in salt and seaweed. And I, and I can use it or take it or climb it or hit a rock against it. Did that work? I don't know. Keep doing it? Do you have to do it at a specific time? <laughs> I think I pissed off the lighthouse keeper quite enough. Ah. It sounds like it attracted someone's attention downstairs. Okay. To be honest, I thought we were going to climb it. <laughs> but uh, if he's unlocked the door, let's just go in the conventional way, shall we? Alright. Is that the wicker man I can hear? What is up with that? Anyway, here we go. 
Is that the lighthouse keeper? I guess it must be. Okay. Welcome to the lighthouse, everybody. Um, let's talk to the man himself. What's going on here? Good evening. Would you happen to be the lighthouse keeper? My name's Wakefield. Stranger. What would you want from me? Uh, well, I, I, I got lost. I'm visiting the island. I, I'm visiting the island. I'm visiting to Aelis Moor. The lighthouse caught my eye. And since it's dark, you thought it'd be abandoned? Well, it's not. Even though I can barely see a thing, this is my house. Okay. Why is the lamp not lit? Because I really think it should be lit. Is it not dangerous for the ships? Do not let it concern you. Many years ago, the sea lanes were altered to avoid this coast. Now it's rare indeed to see a ship in these waters. After the incident, the lighthouse was never repaired. Okay. So hang on. Um, was there a failure in the mechanism? Is that what the cog's for, by any chance? Um, an accident, and the lamp has not been fixed yet. Let's go from top to bottom. Was there a failure in the lamp's mechanism? Precisely that. One stormy afternoon, I suddenly heard a strong noise up in the light room. The clockwork mechanism had stopped working and the lamp was off. I'd never seen a failure like that. I could not get the lighthouse working again. Okay. You say you had an accident? What happened? I was checking the lenses because the failure looked so very strange and I was worried. All of a sudden, the light must have turned on. I was blinded and I can see nothing but fleeting shapes ever since. Oh wow, so he's more or less blind. Shit, okay, and the lamp has not been fixed since? No. No one in the village is interested. For them, the more isolated Eilis Moor is, the better. They do not care about ships or accidents. Especially Lord Darnan. He sees anything coming from outside of the island as a threat. Really? Really? So, all of that earlier with me was an act? Interesting. And I've just noticed that my hair is the exact same colour as the background of that wall. So it looks like I've got a very strange shaped head. <laughs> um, alright, I, I see. I understand. Oh, here we go. Let's talk about Kieran's disappearance. Does he know anything about it? Tragedy it was. A strange one, but a tragedy nonetheless. Uh, Kieran's disappearance was strange? What was so strange about it? I just find it a bit suspicious that it happened so close to the reunion. It's too easy to be keeping secrets during the festival, being how everyone's afraid of leaving the village those nights. What do you mean? Look, folks here are too gullible. They'll do anything to protect themselves from their strange fears. They'll not eat corn, nor drink milk, or they'll dig graves for their mirrors. And of course, they'll avoid standing near a fear nog too long because, though the fiends cannot touch the tree, they're attracted to the smell of its resin. Surely it's all nonsense. It's really easy to prove it all wrong. Just don't follow the rituals. You're a stranger to our ways. But have you seen any of the things I've mentioned? Well, I, I did see a group of people in the village burying mirrors. Exactly! What do you think would happen if you unburied those mirrors? That a band of goblins would come out of the marshes to steal them? Nothing but nonsense. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that a hint? Maybe I should do that. Um, yeah, but what of Kieran's disappearance? Let's get back on track. Well, I'll admit I'm not sure what happened to the boy. But one thing I am sure of, this festival of reunion is nothing but a farce. And it would be just so easy to prove it. Okay. Just out of interest, I'd like to visit the light room anyway. I might be able to fix it. I might be the only person who can, because I might have the cog, you know? Well, I do not think you'll see anything, really. But if you're so interested, yes. I guess you may. Okay. I must go, then. Thank you for the pleasant conversation. I must go. Sorry to hear about your eyes. Um, I assume that leads up. So let's just have a look at everything else. The small stove hardly manages to warm such a spacious room. Well, especially when he's got the fucking door open. But I suppose that's for me. A drip of water left unchecked has ruined the mantle and collected into a small pool. Maybe he doesn't even know where the leak's coming from. Oh, tragic really, isn't it? A few logs and cords of firewood. Okay. Can we take any of them? No? Okay. Uh, what's this? A portrait of a bearded ship's captain, done in oils. The varnish has darkened its features considerably. Alright. Hmm. Let's head out. I should like to visit the light room now, if I may. Yes, yes. You already have my permission.
There you go. Just double checking. Right, up we go then. Immediately. Nice. Okay, so what's wrong with this thing? The mechanism's broken. Let's see. The lighthouse is lamp. Surrounded by eight large lenses. And it's off. Okay. What's this thing down here? Looks like the lighthouse... The lighthouse's electric lamp battery slot. Okay. Is it lacking a battery or something? <laughs> Did someone not just flick the switch? Not as simple as that, is it? Okay. It looks like the lamp is lit by some sort of electric switch. However, its battery is flat. Oh, hello. Perhaps I can find a way to recharge the battery. Perhaps I can! Perhaps I can. Okay. Okay, how do I recharge the battery? Um... Not, not sure quite yet. Let's just back out of this. What do we got here? The clockwork mechanism that caused the lamp's reflector to spin. However, I think that something is missing. It could do with some oiling as well. Some oiling! Hey, that's the barrel of oil, right? Okay, hang on. Um, is it a cog you're missing? It is a cog you're missing! Yep, that was the missing piece of the mechanism. I've replaced it, however, the, mechan the mechanism is still too rusty to move. So, we need to find a container, don't we? We need to find a container for the oil. That's the bit I'm missing. Where could I find a container? Have I seen a container before? Filled with stale water. And there's... <laughs> I don't think we're meant to see this. Uh, oh, this way. <laughs> oh. Quickly now. <laughs> that wind looks fierce. Oh, come on. I don't see how I can ride it safely. But at least the chain rotates. Uh, oh, God. It seems to be lacking a small piece. Aha! We may have finally found what this cog is for. Or not. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Let's head to the lighthouse or the old abbey, I suppose. What the fuck is going on? And I've just noticed that my hair is the exact same colour as the background of that wall. So it looks like I've got a very strange shaped head. 